Hi everyone, welcome to CC Maya Vlogs. My name is CC. Thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for clicking this video. Today I am 23 weeks pregnant and five days and I wanna go ahead and talk to you guys about um, what to expect being, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's my 10 year old. I have a 10 year old daughter. What to expect by having, um, what to expect at 23 weeks pregnant, okay? Um, so first I had write down a little bit of notes because literally like I kind of forget things. Um, so let's start that off with that pregnancy brain. Number one, in your second trimester of 23 weeks pregnant, um, for me, sometimes I forget a lot of things. They call it like pregnancy brain, things like that. And this is my second baby. I am super excited, but, um, it's just small things like, you know, the other day, my daughter had these French toast sticks and I had put them in the refrigerator instead of the freezer when I could have sworn I put them in the freezer. It's like if I'm driving my car, sometimes I might like zone out and then like right before my turn, I'm like making that turn. I don't know. It's like weird. Like it's the pregnancy brain thing is like, it's kind of weird. Um, so that's what I noticed. It, they became stronger within my second trimester. Um, the second thing was eating more um my first trimester i was eating more like of like more healthier things and then stuff that was like um like sweet like things that were like sweet and then i was eating like a lot of salads i was eating really healthy and then like i noticed like as soon as my second trimester hit i was like wanting like donuts cupcakes and then i was wanting things sour so um i don't know depending on what you're having it could flip-flop where you want the sour things in the beginning and then the second trimester you want the sweet things but mine was the sweet things that were like you know honey in the beginning and then the second trimester i wanted things like sour candy donuts and things like that and i'm like yo whoa what's going on like i had a box of pizza i don't remember the last time i've had pizza you know what i'm saying like i've been eating pizza well not anymore but last week we just had pizza it's just like i don't even eat pizza like what's going on you know what i'm saying um, another thing is the baby bump, um, the baby waddle in 23 weeks. <laughs> okay. Second trimester, I noticed that like, I was like walking weird. Um, the water link started like towards the end, beginning the second trimester, but then the bump actually starts to show. And then people are like, well, what are you having? You know, and stuff like that. Um, the baby movements, movements. Now for me, I started feeling my baby movements early, but I started feeling them really strong in the second trimester. Like the baby be kicking me, like she's kicking me right now. Like they'll be kicking me and doing things. I'm gonna show you guys a baby belly update as well. Like, you know, just kicking me and just like moving and like stretching around. Hold on y'all. I got some fruit water, but that's another thing. Like um, in the second trimester, you kind of like get out of breath a little bit. So like, if you see me gasping for air, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm trying to like breathe and talk a little bit slower, but like, I don't know why I'd be having trouble breathing. So that's another thing I noticed in the second trimester. I don't know what it is, but you know, you have these like breathing, like, you know, like you just ran up a whole flight of stairs. Like, okay, you're trying to like, I guess, breathe properly or something. Um, So you start to feel the baby movements and stuff like that. And then like your skin starts to change. Like in my first trimester, I was like breaking out a lot and things like that and i noticed that moving into my second trimester my skin started like clearing up more okay my skin started looking much better than it did in my first trimester so i started glowing more in my second trimester but like i said it just depends on like what baby it is for you my um daughter to my my first baby i was glowing and looking good to me um my whole pregnancy but with this baby my first trimester i was like a little bit rocky you know what i'm saying <laughs> And then the second trimester is when I like started glowing and things like that. People were like, oh my gosh, you're glowing. You're so pretty. I'm like, thank you, y'all. Thank you, you know. Okay. Um, another thing is the feet swells. Okay, so your feet start to swell. Okay. Um, especially like for me, I walk up like three flights of stairs almost every day. So even if you're just walking around, like your feet start to swell. So you want to just kind of put your feet up on a pillow and just relax because baby, you're supposed to be treated like a princess your whole pregnancy. Just relaxing, putting those feet up, okay? Because you will start to notice that you will have like swollen feet and stuff like that. And I'll be like, oh my gosh, I've only walked like, I don't even be doing that much walking. So like, why are my feet swelling? You know what I'm saying? But just prop a pillow up, you know, make sure it's a little bit elevated more than your shoulders and you just lay back and relax. Um, 
Another thing is like the sleeping, okay? I have to sleep on my sides, of course. You can't sleep on your back, you can't sleep on your stomach. So at different sides, it's really hard to sleep. So I have to go back and forth between like these two pillows that I like to use. They do have pregnancy pillows and things. I don't have one of those yet, but I do use like two different pillows, like the Envo pillow that's like really squishy and foamy. And I just go back and, be, and forth between that because sleeping is like really like weird. Like um, I'll get like maybe about four or five hours of sleep and then wake up and have to use the bathroom. And it's like, okay, I do drink a lot of water and I do keep it on the side of my bed, but you might have to wake up to use the bathroom like two or three times, you know, um, and it might be a little bit difficult to sleep in your second trimester. Um, my first trimester, I really didn't notice the sleep habits that much. But when it hits my second trimester and the baby started like bumping out a little bit more, I'm like, bro, I just want some sleep. Like, I'm so tired right now. I'm so tired. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just woke up from my nap, actually. Like, you know, so I was just like, um, it is, you, you do have a little bit more trouble sleeping, you know, um, getting comfortable and things like that. Now, the pillows do help. If you put like two pillows in between your legs and then like curve them a little bit, they do help, you know? So they help me sleep a little bit longer through the night than if I don't have any pillows at all, because it gets really uncomfortable. The heartburn. The heartburn was um, a little bit in my first trimester, but once I got into my second trimester, I noticed that like my heartburn was like, even when I didn't eat anything hot, even when I didn't like do anything, it was like still coming up a little bit. And I'm like, what is going on? So I don't know if any of you guys else have these issues, but for me, the heartburn in my second trimester, I'm just like, what's going on? It was like way more in my than my first. And it was even like, it was honestly even, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have no clue what I have playing in the back. Um, it was like more than that. So then the energy so in your first trimester for me i was like really tired like i had to have a nap a day like or else i'm just like really groggy i'm drained like no matter what i ate healthy or not like i was just like really drained in my first trimester and the second trimester you do gain some of that energy back so if you're like okay bro when am i gonna get my energy back and the second trimester i have noticed that like i'm willing to do more i'm up more you know i'm still tired like really tired but not as tired as my first trimester in my first trimester it was just like okay this is before i even knew i was pregnant i'm like why am i so tired like literally like what is going on <sighs> i'm sorry <laughs> and then it started to make sense you know <clears throat> then it started to make sense okay i'm pregnant okay and then you know so that is another thing um <clears throat> I will say as well, like the aches in your body, like your lower back and the second trimester, your lower back starts to, you know, <clears throat> feel like stiff. Your lower legs start to feel stiff. So I like to do like yoga here and there. There's um, videos on YouTube that I, like to, I normally like to click where it's like YouTube pregnancy, I mean yoga for pregnant women. And you can choose like which ones you want, like the stretches and stuff like that. And I just like put a little palette here and I'll do that because sometimes like my legs or my back gets like really stiff like really stiff and you know um the yoga does help with that so if you're noticing that just try to do a little bit of yoga you know and stretch out your body because it really does help and the second trimester i noticed that i guess as the baby like was getting bigger and my body was stretching and that was why but yeah um i'm trying to think what else because i wrote down most of the things but then like after i record this video i know i'm gonna it's gonna be something that i wanted to tell you guys in second trimester but like i can't remember um so i guess i'll do a belly uh bump update real quick but i can't remember what else i wanted to tell you guys oh my gosh i hate when i forget things okay so let me show you guys my belly real quick 23 weeks and i'm five days so i'm almost to i'm almost to 24 weeks so excuse me oh oh god i'm gonna have to cut that out <laughs> oh snaps okay so this is the belly now some people have this like line that goes up like this for some reason i just have these two i don't know but yes this is my 23 weeks belly And I just talk to her, I rub her, 
every time I shower, <clears throat> for me, every time I shower, I like to put on um, coconut oil or baby oil. And then I just like sit there and I talk to her. I talk to her at night. Everyone, every time I'm talking, like she'll just like move around, especially when, when she knows I'm talking about her, which is so funny. Um, but I think that is pretty much it. Just the cravings are going to be different, you know. I'm going back more towards the healthier things now and stuff like that. But, like, I've been a person where I just did not like the sweets and stuff like that. But during this pregnancy, yo, it has been a roller coaster with these, with this food, everything. A lot of people were asking me, am I still plant-based? I still am plant-based. I do eat seafood, but I'm still plant-based. I don't eat any animal products. So, um, I do still eat plant-based and, um... What I find is like plant-based meats because for me it's easier than eating animal meat because I don't want to get sick and stuff like that before, you know, yeah, so yeah. And then I am going to be breastfeeding, so I know that to breastfeed you do have to drink extra water, but I noticed that I've been drinking like lots of water. So you might notice that you're more thirsty and things like that. But pretty much... I'm sorry, I keep getting out of breath. But pretty much, that is pretty much it, okay? Um, if you guys have any questions, you know, leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my family. Um, we do a lot of different types of videos on here. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for stopping by. Bye.